Superior Schools will welcome back grade school students this morning after three months of summer break, marking the beginning of yet another school year in the Twin Ports. And while those students are ready with their new notebooks, college students are gearing up to move back into residential halls at the University of Wisconsin Superior. Northern News Now's Mitchell Zimmerman joins us live in studio this morning with a special guest from the university. Good morning, Mitchell. Good morning, Paul. The Yellow Jackets are moving back to the hive this weekend, and as students trickle back into campus with their families or on their own, carrying boxes of bedding, clothes, and more, trust me, I've done that so many times, mm -hmm. it takes a big operation to get it all done. And joining us this morning is Jen Burt, the Assistant Dean of Students at the University. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So tell us, how many students will be moving in this weekend? Well, we have about 200 new students that are moving in. Um, we have our international and athletic students that are already here, but we're excited to um, invite the rest in just tomorrow. That's awesome. That's so exciting. So campus will be bustling soon here in just about a week. So, uh, you know, when it comes to moving, how do you guys prepare to get all these students back onto campus? Well, there's a lot of preparation that goes into play. Um, obviously, our residence halls are doing all the, the things over the summer to make sure the rooms are ready. Um, we're hiring students to make sure that they're there to help lead them through the weekend, recruiting mm -hmm. volunteers to help. Um, it's really a big process of planning and coordinating throughout the summer throughout a whole bunch of different offices on campus. That's awesome. A lot of coordination there, and it takes a lot of skill. I know there's a lot of great people there on campus that can help those new students out and make them feel comfortable. And, you know, when it comes to having students back on campus, it's been three months of summer, and now it's going to be busy again. Is campus ready to have all these students back? Absolutely. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're thrilled. Um, it's, it's, you know, over the summer it gets really quiet and we really miss having all of the students around. They really bring a lot of love that are light and energy <laughs> to the campus, love too also. Yeah. Um, but energy to the campus and we're excited to see what they're doing. Um, they, they bring programs, they bring research, they bring all kinds of great stuff um, that we enjoy. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And if you're moving in there, make sure you bring some water, a hat. It looks like it will be warm there, as Tony said. So move-in is on Saturday, September 2nd, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. In addition to getting students back into residential halls, there's a four-day orientation program for students, including a block party, hey there, on Sunday night. The fall semester for students begins Wednesday, September 6th. That's a good date to note if you don't know when school starts. So we'll send things back to you there, Paul, at the desk.